every day, as part of his branch line work, Thomas takes milk to Fafarqua on his first up train, and then brings down trucks of rock from the Anova Quarry on the immediate down service. For his last return trip, Thomas takes empty trucks up to Farqua and the milk tankers back to the dairy. It's too much hassle, he often complains. I have to shunt in and out of the platform and siding so many times I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Thomas arrived late one morning. He took the milk tankers into the siding. Come on, come on, I don't want to be even more late, he fussed. Normally, and for a good reason too, they would add a brake van to the end of the train. But the one in the yard had a hot axle box. We can't run without a brake van, discussed the crew and shunter. Just put the trucks at the back as usual, Thomas suggested impatiently. What about the brake pipes? We'd be running a partly unfitted train. We've done it before and we can do it again. The men were uncertain. Mm, I'd best check with station master, pondered the shunter and walked off. While he's gone, let's make the train anyway. It will save time if it is allowed, Thomas said to his crew manipulatively. His crew were still uncertain, but agreed it was a good idea, so they shunted the train. Station Master is phoning Sir Topham Hat, the shunter called. Thomas grew more and more impatient. Then the guard's whistle blew. Thomas's crew panicked and assumed they must have been given permission to run the train. Thomas set off, roughly. Ouch! Ow! Ow! screamed the trucks. Wait! cried the station master. Sir Topham Hat says wait for a brake van from the quarry! but they were wasting their breath. There is a small gradient between Ellsbridge and Torriek that Thomas must have a good head of steam to tackle. The wet rails today meant it would be trickier than normal. Thomas charged at the bank out of Ellsbridge. Here we go, he said to himself determinedly. Trouble struck. The trucks wanted to teach Thomas a lesson. The couple on the front one snapped. They began rolling back down the gradient. Henry saw the train coming and shut his eyes. The trucks ran the bus. <laughs> Thomas was told to finish his journey. He arrived at Tidmouth, and the fat controller was waiting there. You should know better, Thomas, he glared. Brake vans are essential, and this has proved why. Once you have helped clear the line, Percy will take over your trains, and you will be the Knapford pilot until I feel I can trust you again. Yes, sir. Thomas had a lot to think about.